Hello friends, uh, welcome to the last part of video series on maximum power point tracking using boost converter in MacTap Simulink. So till now we have seen how to take out the output terminal from the solar PV model. Uh, this we did in the first part. And in the third part, uh, we looked at how to implement P and O algorithm in MATLAB Simulink. Uh, this we have also completed. And in this part, we are going to see how to generate duty cycle uh, for the boost converter. Basically in this part, we are going to uh, build one duty cycle generation block. Uh, where uh, the control voltage is compared uh, with the repetitive sequence triangular wave. Uh, this I told you in the second part. And the control voltage is the output from P and O block. And uh, uh, the frequency of uh, repetitive sequence will decide the switching frequency of the boost converter. And in boost converter, uh, as we all know, we have one inductor at the input side. Uh, we have a MOSFET and a diode. And at the output, we have a battery connected. Uh, so let us start uh, from where we left in the third part. Uh, so now go to the Simulink library and uh, add one compare to zero block. Search compare in Simulink. And also add a repetitive sequence block. It is available in sources. Uh, we will also need one subtract block. Also add one saturation block. Now double click on repetitive sequence block. Uh, we are going to set uh, the frequency of repeating sequence as to be 10 kilohertz. And the peak value of triangular wave is 1 volt. So as we have set uh, the peak of triangular wave to be 1 volt, it means that VC should be always less than or equal to 1 volt. And that's why we have to uh, use one saturation block, set upper limit to be 0 to be 1 and lower limit to be 0. After that, uh, we have to uh, compare uh, the repetitive sequence and uh, we see double click on compare to 0 and set it as greater than or equal to zero. So uh, we are subtracting uh, uh, repeating sequence from VC. So if the output of subtractor is zero, it means that VC is greater than uh, repeating repetitive sequence. Uh, the compare to zero block will give uh, one volt signal at its output. Add one out block. So this is duty. Now we can create uh, one subsystem. So this system is duty cycle generation. Uh, now we need to add a boost converter. So go to the Simlink library, uh, go in uh, Simscape, and in a specialized technology uh, from electrical sources, add one DC voltage source. Then from Portonics, add one MOSFET and a diode. Also add a uh, one RLC branch
uh, we need one capacitor at the input side. After that, uh, one RL branch. And then a MOSFET. After a diode then. The output of uh, control current source is the output terminal of solar PV. So it will go to the capacitor. And the duty cycle uh, will go to the gate of MOSFET. Now we have to set the parameters. So please note that uh, the purpose of this video is, no, no, is not to design the solar PV model, uh, but to implement uh, the solar PV and MPPT in MATLAB Simulink. So the value which I'm going to take here uh, will uh, enough to serve our purpose. Uh, but if you want to design a solar PV model, then you have to uh, take the value of LC uh, depending upon how much uh, ripple you want in your circuit. So I'm going to set uh, the DC voltage source as 50 volt because the peak of solar PV, uh, the peak voltage of solar PV model is around 17 volt, uh, 21 volts. So uh, the output voltage should be high enough uh, than the input voltage and boost converter. That's why I've taken 50 volt. And uh, input side capacitor, uh, let us take two millifarad. And input inductor, I'm taking uh, 0.45 as series resistance of inductor and inductor to be 1 milli Henry. Uh, now add a scope basically to track the uh, uh, output of the solar PV model. Uh, so go to Simulink library. Add a scope. Also add one display block. Also add a product block. We will also need a power GI block. To get output power from the solar PV model, uh, we have to multiply the output voltage and output current. So the output of product block is the output power from the solar PV panel uh, connected to uh, display and oscilloscope. After that, double click on power GUI and uh, uh, tick use ideal switching devices. Uh, now set uh, simulation time as one second. Uh, now we can run the simulink model. Uh, go to scope. Uh, so the yellow curve is the output power the sol from the solar PV panel. So we can see that uh, it is able uh, to reach at 50 watt, which is the maximum power of the solar PV model. Uh, but we are seeing lots of oscillation. So the reason behind is uh, step size. So here you can see uh, auto OD to 23 TB is written at the bottom. Click over it, uh, go to setting. Uh, now click on additional option. So there is one relative tolerance. So right now it is one milli, make it uh, one micro. Now double click. Uh, now again run the simulation. Uh, now you can see that uh, the output power of the solar P panel is slowly reaching towards the maximum uh, power point.
so right now uh, the our maximum power of the solar pv panel is 50 watt uh, we can see that it is slowly uh, moving towards 50 watt now it has got settled to 50 watt so the mpvt controller is uh, working fine uh, and it is able to track the output power from the solar pv panel you can see then uh, now the oscillation is uh, very low it's almost 50 watt every time And you can see in the, on the display, it is uh, varying from 49 to 50 in between. You can do perturbation in the uh, solar PV panel uh, maximum power that is from 50 watt. Uh, let us give perturbation to 50 watt and uh, see whether our controller is able to track it or not. Uh, so uh, from 0 to 0 0.5 second, the maximum power is 50 watt. That is, I have set it one here. And uh, there is 1000 uh, gain after this uh, signal builder. And from 0.5 second to 0 0.8 second, the maximum power is 25 watts. And after that, it is again uh, 50 watt. So let us set this. Uh, run again uh, the sampling model. Go to the scope. So you can see the uh, MPPT is able to track the maximum power of 50 watt. And at 0 0.5 second, uh, we have set uh, perturbation in output power from 50 to 25 watt. 25 watts. Let us see uh, that the control uh, will be able to track it or not. So up to uh, 0.5 second, the maximum power is 50 watt. Uh, see, uh, the controller is successfully uh, uh, track the output power. Now it is 25 watt. So from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 second, uh, the maximum power is 25 watt. Then again, uh, we have given a step in the uh, maximum power from 20 to 25 to 50 watts. Uh, see, the controller is uh, working very good. In this video series, uh, we have successfully implemented MPPT using Boost Converter in MATLAB Simulink. So please like my Facebook page Triple Helper. I will post this video on this page. If you want, you can share with your friends. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And uh, if you have any doubt or query, you can either mail me or you can write in comment section of this video.